The Biden administration declares the monkeypox outbreak a public health emergency. The CDC reports there are 7,101 cases in the U.S. Florida has 577 of those cases. CBS 4's Trish Christakis spoke with an infectious disease doctor to understand the breakdown. With cases rising across the U.S., Dr. Eileen Marty says this is not a disease you want to get and stopping the spread is essential. But this is an eminent threat that we now are just beginning in our government to apply the tools that we need to apply to keep it from becoming a real total threat to all of us. In Florida right now, there are 577 cases, most of those in Broward County with 254. Miami-Dade has 159 cases. Dr. Marty says most of the cases are people in their late 20s to 60s where they can withstand it. She says if it goes beyond that to children, the elderly and pregnant women. Then we're going to have problems of another dimension. California, Illinois, and New York all declared states of emergency. Governor Ron DeSantis said Wednesday that he will not. The fact that the federal government has declared it makes it a little less necessary for it to be declared independently by the state of Florida. Dr. Marty says states declaring a state of emergency essentially increases the ability for the state to contain the outbreak. It's a tool to get resources such as PPE, contact tracing, and more. And Doral, Trish Christakis, CBS 4 News Tonight.